moment they call out your name in the devil's kingdom, do they shake? Do they panic? Do they go to hide? Or they say, say, oh, I saw this one. Leave this one alone. This one, oh. I move you to that realm. Amen. Can I continue? Sir. A powerful Christian is someone who can stand the devil. Why should you run away from issues? Stand before the issue and tell the issue enough is enough. Someone, when they speak, it happens. Today, I touch your tongue. Yes, Lord. Job said, and thou shalt decree a thing. Job 22, 29. It says, thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall come to pass. He didn't say, okay, give me 28. He didn't say, a pastor shall decree a thing. Give me the KGV version first before we go to other translations. It says, thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Did he say a pastor? No. Did he say a bishop? No. Did he say a preacher? No. He said, thou shalt, it's you. So you have the ability to speak and it will automatically come to pass. How to be a powerful Christian. These are the science, uh, science characteristics of a powerful Christian. This is the next one. Someone whose words are powerful. The next one is this. Someone who can single-handedly Change a whole family. Change a whole tribe. Change a whole territory. Because of their voice. And have you entered into that realm? May you get to that realm in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is the next one. Somebody who can command. Who, someone who has the power to command things for them to appear. If you need healing, you declare. Let healing appear. If you are selling and customers are not coming. You just declare. Let customers come. Let customers come. Let customers come. A powerful Christian, when you declare something like that, it's supposed to happen. This is the next one. A powerful Christian is someone that when they command things, they can command things to also vanish. So all the things you don't need, you can command for them to vanish. Yes, so today I declare, all the things that you don't like in your life. Jesus. I declare. Okay, 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 okay. When I declare, it means I'm not helping you. You're about to declare yourself. You're about to declare that. You, now, this is what you're about to declare. Whatever I don't need in my life, vanish now. One, let's go. Whatever I don't need in my life, vanish now. Number two. Whatever I don't need in my life, vanish now. Number three. Whatever I don't need in my life, vanish now. Four. Whatever I don't need in my life, Punish now. Five. Whatever I don't need in my life. Punish now. Six. Whatever I don't need in my life. Punish now. Seven. Whatever I don't need in my life. Punish now. Jesus. Powerful Christian is that they command things that they don't need to vanish from their lives. I'm teaching you all these things because whatever you see going on in this commission, every blessing here, every testimony here. That happens over here you are also a partaker of it Man. it's not pastor daniel that has to do that you've got to also do that and i declare that grace over your life Amen. in the name of jesus Man. shout i receive the power of god i receive the power of god say it one more time i receive the power of god so let me continue a powerful christian is someone that will command things to vanish and the next one is that a powerful christian is a generational changer you can rise in one generation and declare enough is enough yes, and you can single-handedly break something from the family every day you hear and a family came and there was a family and the family somebody came in the family and there was a grandmother and the grandmother and the grandfather did something and they went to do the what about the christian that were in the family if one grandmother grandfather was able to bring something an uncle brought something and said after them nobody can succeed and truly after them nobody succeeds why don't you also rise up and say now because of you everybody will succeed in the family Amen. because of you you have built an altar yes, everybody will live to enjoy the blessing of god Amen. enter into that realm in the name of jesus so i am powerful i am powerful we've given the level too much leverage too much credits so he's excited and fooling about no you have to single-handedly rise up in that family and say because of you you declare you said that because of your presence 
And some of you, you not just declare on in the family. You shall declare in the in the hometown you come from. Jesus. That because I was born in this generation, Jesus. my hometown will experience massive turnarounds. My hometown will experience amazing things. Amen. My hometown will experience the grace of God. Yes, Lord. So I'm a powerful Christian. I'm a powerful Christian. So let me continue. A powerful Christian is someone who has the power to rewrite the family history. The power to rewrite the family history. And this is the next one. The powerful Christian is the one who has the power to rewrite a new history. So this one, you are able to rewrite the family history. And this one, the, 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 the next one is that the one who has the power to begin a new history. So you have to rewrite and also write a new one. Is that okay? You rewrite and also write a new one. And I declare, new, new, new. Amen. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Do you know that in a family, it can be there for a long time. Nobody in that family has ever traveled before. But one person enters into Italy. One person enters into America and goes to pick a nephew, goes to bring a brother. And by the time you check, 50 people are in that nation because of one first person that entered because that one person has been able to change and that person i see here now jesus oh some of you can look around your family and can check now maybe in the year 1990 there was nobody in accra everybody was in the hometown but when one person you came to accra around 1995 you brought somebody you brought somebody by now all your family members are living on the sprinters road all your family members are living in accra so it's one person that came and everybody followed i declare in the name of jesus yes, receive that grace in i receive it do, do you know do you know do you know one person can just get a shop at makola in the family and by the time they are aware they have 50 people having shop in makola the same family members yes, one person one person so i'm a powerful christian i'm a powerful christian so i'm a powerful christian i'm a powerful, powerful christian and this is the last one sunday i gave 15 when i was reading this morning praying and god gave me another one god gave me another one last one he says somebody that is very very difficult hear me god gave it to me somebody that is very very difficult for their image to appear in the devil's kingdom when they call out their image yes, i'm saying it one more time somebody that is very very difficult for their image to do what appear amen you know those who come early you can still be, be feeling this side is that okay so that those who come late can come and sit on this particular side is that okay but if you're cool you can sit there is that okay yes, so uh, madam osha um because the powerful christian is the one that is difficult very difficult for your image to appear when they call out your image it's difficult for your name to appear when they call out your name it's very difficult for 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 your spirit to appear when they call it let me tell you if anybody sits in any negative, negative, negative altar jesus and when they sit on an altar they call out your name hey daniel appear and you just appear sister you are not powerful if you are a christian and they call out your image and it appears one day when i'm teaching about demonology i'll teach you all these things they only need a reflective image a reflective object just to call out for a name to appear a person's face to appear image to appear it, it can be a reflective object like a mirror or anything that reflect like why that's why they can use calico and when it's appear then your spirit appears it means you are not powerful if you can take somebody's phone you try you try to type the phone you can't open do you know the reason because there's a password on the phone i want to read the message but i can't read although the phone is for me but if i want to read password comes it's for me but i can't open because there's a password a powerful christian you need to put a password on your spirit jesus when they tr yes lord those who are clapping have already got the revelation when they try to call your name they try and they cannot open you up because there's a password on you yes, Lord. and and i see everybody's password on their forehead Amen. do you know your password i see your password your password is not three three it's not four four 
your password can i tell you yes, sir. your password is the blood of jesus Amen. i said your password is the blood of jesus Amen. so on this premise i declare jesus over your spirit yes lord i place a password on your spirit Amen. when anybody calls out your name or image jesus. in the place to appear yes lord the password of the blood of jesus yes lord will lock it up will lock it up will lock it up Amen. Amen. So the password. The password. Amen. So this is the preamble I gave on Sunday. What makes somebody a powerful um, 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 characteristics of a powerful Christian? Now, what makes somebody a powerful Christian? There are about 20 things. And that's when I will try to break it down. I think from Sunday going. Uh, a, 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 what makes you a powerful Christian? Number one, a person of covenant. You've got to have a covenant with God. Number two. You've got to be a person who is filled with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, you shall receive power. So to be powerful, you need the Holy Spirit. Jesus mentioned about the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, they were operating the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord will come on Samson. And Samson will kill a lion. So the, the Holy Spirit was not even in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it was operating. There was darkness. And the Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light. So if, if you want the ability to declare things to happen, you've got to be filled with the spirit. Ask the person by you do have the spirit. You have the spirit. Anybody who has the spirit is called a spiritual person. That's why when somebody is so powerful, you know, according to you, you're too powerful for your spirit. It means the spirit has taken over. Let me continue. I'm just giving you the recap. Sunday's one, I'll break it down. I'll give you a case study of Jehu. Third one. What makes somebody a powerful Christian? Somebody who carries strange power. And the next one, somebody who carries strange authority. There's a difference between power and authority. Say, power and authority. Power and authority. Say power and authority. Power and authority. The two things, Jesus Christ will normally talk about it. I give you all authority. I give you power. You need the two. What's power? Power is the ability to control. The ability to control. That's power. Ability to control. Hey! Power. Ability to control. What is authority? Ability to exercise your power. And authority is bigger than power. Never forget. Somebody with authority, clear example, is what happened recently on the social media. When the president was somewhere and the chiefs were sitting down. Both of them have power. All right. But, but one, one, one and the other one that has power, the chiefs, they are sitting down there. They're on the other one with the authority say, hey, tell the regional minister. The regional, regional minister also have power. But the president with the authority, tell the regional minister, go and tell the chiefs to stand up because the national anthem is coming. Power and authority. Sir. Witches have power, but you have the Yes, Lord. Oh, I declare in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I speak by authority. Yes, Lord. Receive grace on every side. I receive it. Say, I'm powerful. I am powerful. Say, I'm powerful. I am powerful. So, um, the person might be by the screen. Um, just check it. Where is John? You, ju you judge yourself before you put it on there. Um, he says, and I give you power over uh, snakes and scorpions and all their powers. Make sure you give me and all their powers. So, what, what, what God, Jesus Christ was saying that there at that time was... was an extra power. An extra power is authority. He says, and over all their powers. If somebody says, I give you power over all their powers, what's the meaning? Authority. Authority. If my power is bigger than your power, it means I have authority over you. Articulator is amazing. Articulator is so powerful. On the sprinter's road, vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, it says, behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So it means right now, I've given you extra power. Other translations will give it, other translations will say authority. Check another translation, give me authority. Maybe Matthew chapter 28 there, verse 18 there. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. It says, I've given you, pow powerful, that's, that's it. It says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions to overcome all the power. Anytime God says, I give you power over power, it means it's authority. So he places it on there very, very, very clear. So as a child of God, don't move only in power, move with authority. Yes, sir. So on the sprinter's road, an articulator on the motorway, articulator is moving. S speed, 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 goose only, speed, articulator, speed, goose only. But a police officer, tiny police officer on the roadside, 
will take a, go and bring me my next level file for something. My uh, the, the next level file now, but then be prepared to touch in Fabra. I want to show something. When it comes, then I'll continue with you. So hear me. Don't move in power only. Move in authority. And anybody with authority, they speak with confidence. Yes, sir. They move and they are not afraid of anything. Yes, sir. L let me tell you something. Brother, did you, do you have the passport yet? You sent it to them. So you sent it to them yesterday. Good. This brother, how long have you been applying the thing for? Over one year. Close to one year, he's been applying for visa. Good. Now when you're on it's something now fire off. So, clear example. Um, Pastor Desmond. Pastor Desmond, one of our friends, anytime he comes from America, he normally comes and sits here, you know, Pastor Desmond. So, I was just there on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, that he sent me an audio and said, Papa, I have a friend in Ghana. We know what God is doing in your church. We know people are getting crazy visas. I said, yeah. He has applied for a visa for more than one year. He's not even heard from them. So, Papa, I've, I've asked him to come. So, please, when he comes, try to see him. I said, no problem. And on my mind, I, I, I just said that the moment he enters into this campus. Lord. I know why you're not clapping because you've not experienced God before. But if you have experienced God, you know that God. I said, he should come. But the moment he enters into the campus, Jesus. it's a done deal. So, after the service on Wednesday, Wednesday we had a very short service. Close around 840, right? We closed very early. After the service, he came to see me and said, I'm from Desmond. I said, what's up? He said, um, um, I've applied for this thing for a long time and it's not coming. And I said, were you in the service? He said, yes. I said, because you were in the service, it's done. So try to find a way to give me your passport by Sunday and I'll pray for you. But because you are already in the service, it's already done. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can I give you the good news? When I tell you, jump. The next day, they called him to bring his passport yesterday Jesus. so that they can put a visa inside. Oh my Jesus. God. Oh, look, look at the way you are clapping. You know, you know, so it's about authority. I told him, because you have come to the campus, it's done. Listen, don't, don't cry. And I want to see, don't cry. I want to see Papa. And listen, so long as you are in the campus. So you sent it to them yesterday. When are you supposed to hear from them? By Friday. And now the question is, if you if you know anybody who doubts, let's do simple critical thinking. I, I, I read engineering, so I, I did a mass. One of our mass we did was called analysis. In analysis, you sit down, it's a critical thinking subject. Now, look at critical thinking. Let's say nobody believes in the power of God. He's been there for one year. They didn't hear from them. The moment he enters into a campus, they call him to come for the tent. Yes, sir. So by critical thinking and analysis, it means when he came to the place, something triggered in the atmosphere. Jesus. Today, yes, your long-awaited testimony. Jesus. I triggered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said your long-awaited testimony. Jesus. I trigger. Yes, Lord. The way you are touching the altar, come and touch the altar. Uh, I trigger something in the atmosphere. Amen. I trigger something in the atmosphere. Amen. I trigger something in the atmosphere. Amen. Some shall power. Power. Trigger something in the atmosphere. Walk in power. Walk in grace. Walk in authority. Yeah. Walk in power. Walk in grace. Walk in authority. Uh, Walk in power. Jesus. Walk in grace. Trigger things in the atmosphere. And, and give me the test. Give me hello. Give me the test that says. Speaks that things that are not as seen, they were. Give it to me. He commanded there to be. Four. Yes. Give it to me. Four seventeen. 
Romans. Commanded there to be. Commanded there to be. Turn the altar. Yes. So, as a powerful Christian, this is one of your hallmarks. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead. And now look at the last place. I like that side. He calls things that are not as though they were. He calls things that are not as though they were. Right. So the thing is not there. But you can declare that it is there. Yes, Lord. And when you declare, it will happen. Amen. And I speak from this commission. Jesus. I speak by the altar. Jesus. May all the things that are not yes, Lord. that you want to see. Jesus. I declare they are. They are. Amen. They are. I declare they are. Amen. I declare they are. Amen. I declare they are. Amen. So they are. They are. Shout it and say they are. They are. Say they are. They are. Cause things. Oh, me make up. Cause things that are not as though they were. So power and authority. Authority can just declare and it will happen. When you have authority, you are not afraid of power. Some national anthem is playing. The chiefs are sitting down. But the one with authority says, stand up. Why are you sitting down? Stand up. When the chief goes to me and pass him, He's, he has power. But another power told him to stand up. And after that, yesterday, he came to do a press conference to say, I am sorry. Some people are making noise in your family background, Jesus. thinking they have power. But the authority you are picking from here, Jesus. I said some sicknesses have been harassing you. Jesus. But the authority from here yes, Lord. is about to jump over it now. Amen. Any disease in your body, Jesus. any condition in your body, yes, Lord. let it catch fire now. Amen. Let the God of the testimony city yes, Lord. stop every assignment Amen. now. Amen. So, power and authority that I wanted to show you. Articulator is making noise on the motorway. Goose only, trailer. Has 32 ties. Ties, 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 32. Plenty. Coco going to harbor. Making noise. And when they are coming, they intimidate the Uber drivers on the way. Am I saying the truth? Pong, pong, they drive carelessly. Because the articulator has power. But a police officer will take this and add white paper. Give me a white paper. I don't know what is on that white paper. Okay, yeah. Has a white paper. This is the service update. Yeah. White paper. Oh, though it's making pom, 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 pom. He's standing somewhere with a shoe, with a big trousers. There. We we'll do like this. You see the articulator driver. And, and your brake, you know, it doesn't really work. By the time he gets to the police officer, he has stopped. The police doesn't have muscles, but he has authority. authority. Today, any satanic articulator Jesus. that has been tormenting your family, Jesus. today you carry a spiritual authority. Yes, Lord. You are warning them to stop now. Amen. When I say number, we shall stop. Number one. Stop. Number two. Stop. Number three. Stop. Four. Stop. Five. Stop. Six. Stop. Seven. Stop. By the stop you just declared, Jesus. I prophesy. And I declare, troubles have stopped. Amen. Troubles have stopped. Amen. Anything that gave you sleepless nights, Jesus. they have stopped in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sit down. And um, I'll start giving you case study of people that work with authority. And the first person I will begin with is called Jehu. Someone say Jehu. Jehu. And, and you will see strange thing about Jehu. You don't want to miss tomorrow and Sunday. Jehu. His name is not common in the Bible. But he made big history. All the bow worship in the Bible, he, only him, 
He stopped bow worship in the Bible. Only him. And I will show you how he received his anointing. God asked, God asked Elijah to go and anoint Jehu. Elijah forgot to anoint Jehu. So now Elisha has come. Elisha too didn't anoint him. Elisha called one of his boys. He called one of the boys and said, Hey, young prophet, get it. There's a guy called Jehu. Go and put oil on him. Listen, when the oil came on Jehu, listen, when the oil came on Jehu, people, before the, people, people also asked Jehu, who brought that oil on you? That madman, that crazy guy? Because the guy Elisha even sent, he looked like a foolish man, a crazy man. Yeah, it's there. Give it to me. Second Kings. Second Kings. Nine, nine there, nine twenty-seven there. Check for me. Nine twenty-seven there. Check for me. I have to check before you put on there. It's there. Second Kings chapter nine there. Check for me. The person there helped me. It says the guy looked like a mad person. Someone say a mad person. A mad person. And tell the person by you, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Say it one more time. Say I am not mad. I am not mad. Say, 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 say it again. Say I am not mad. I am not mad. Check it for me. Check it for me. I want you to know one thing. By in Second Kings, that's for that one. I know that is there. Check for me. Who's helping me in there? Very quick. Very quick. Who's helping me there? It says, it's Second Kings chapter nine, verse number. And find out. It says, go straight. Said so the young man went there. Yeah. Strike down, verse 11. He said, verse, because they asked him, what did that guy come to do? He says, yeah, I will make thy house, the dogs. Then Jehu came out, um, you know, yeah, give me, I think, verse 11, right? Verse 11, right? Yeah, verse 11, yeah, verse 11. Look at it. So, so, you know, on Sunday, I will break it down. You really enjoy the, this particular test. You enjoy it. So, so Elijah, Elisha, first of all, God told Elijah, Elijah to anoint Jehu. He didn't do. Then he came to the tent of Elisha. So, Elisha too was supposed to be the one to go and anoint Jehu. That one too, Elisha didn't do. Then Elisha gave the oil to one of the servants. Just go, and when you go, there's a guy called Jehu. Go and put something on him. And he went, Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Shh, put it now. Now, now listen, when it happened like that, people asked Jehu, What did the guy come to do? But they used a word to describe the guy. They asked him, what did the madman come to do? Which means, the guy Elisha sent didn't look well. Let's prove it. Give me from NIV going, please. From NIV, please. When Jehu went out to his fellow officers, one of them asked, is everything all right? What, why did this man, this madman come to you? The one who poured the oil on Jehu, he looked like a madman. Give me other translation, NLT. I'm taking you somewhere. Why did that madman want? Message Bible. They call him a crazy fool. Message Bible. Is everything all right? What did that crazy fool want with you? But let me tell you. When somebody carries anointing. He can look a like a crazy fool. Jesus. But what he carries yes, is not a crazy uh, Oh, some of you don't get it. I said, listen, on, on, on Sunday, by the grace of God, when I'm, on Sunday, when I'm getting time for Jehu, I will teach you about Jehu. Because he's some other Christians I have to learn from. He is the one. Listen, bow worship in Israel. Bow worship in Israel. Bow worship. It was there for Moses' time. Moses couldn't stop it. Gideon time. Gideon couldn't finish it. Elijah. The one who caused fire to fall from heaven. He couldn't do. 
about a guy who was anointed by a crazy fool. Jesus. Listen, be very careful how you treat somebody today because tomorrow they will be the one to pray yes, to break Lord. everything from your background. What did that crazy fool come to do? So the crazy fool went to pour oil on Jehu. And somebody hear me? This Jehu that was anointed by a crazy fool, he single handedly. I think the chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 27, will tell you he took Baal out. Let's go to chapter 10, NIV. Chapter 10, 27. Perfect. Perfect. Look at it. This Jehu, when he came on him, he went to the temple of Baal. He crashed the temple. They do know how he was crazy. He turned the whole temple of Baal into a public toilet. That where they go and worship about from today when you come, come in. It says, it says, they demolished the sacred stone of Baal, tore down the temple of Baal, and people have used it as a latrine to this day. Give me the other translation, NLT. Public toilet. They smashed the sacred pillar and wrecked the temple of Baal, converting it into a public toilet. And I don't like even a public toilet. It says, as it remains to this. So today when you go, there is a public toilet. But yesterday, that's where they were worshipping Baal. Listen, where demons meet, Jesus. you are about to turn them into a public toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say, where they meet to discuss you, yes, you shall convert it. Yes, you shall turn it Jesus. into a public to this day, to this day, a public toilet to this day. And um, the same NIV, give me 28. How to be a powerful Christian? He says, in this way, Jehu destroyed every trace of Baal worship from Israel. Now look at me. Moses' time, Baal was there. Moses couldn't do. Gideon's time. Elijah. Remember he fought them? Do you remember them? He fought them on the mountain that they were calling fire. And Jezebel said, hey, because of what you have done, I'll kill you. And, and Elijah ran away from Je Jezebel. Do you remember? Elijah couldn't finish. But an unassuming guy. Jesus. So a powerful Christian is not a pastor. A powerful Christian is somebody that something has come on. Oh, yes, there is somebody sitting here. You look so unassuming, Jesus. but you be there. Now, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. I like the word over there. Jehu destroyed every trace. Now, somebody thought I'm speaking about Jehu, and I'm speaking about Baal. I'm about to say something right now. It took cause somebody to jump on their feet. Can I tell you? Yes, sir. Can I tell you what I'm about to say? Yes, sir. It says, in this way, Jehu destroyed every trace of Baal worship. I'm about to say something right now. The one that is for cannot sit down. Can I tell you? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Lift up your hands. Put your hand down. Lift up your hands. Put your hand down. Can I tell what I'm about to say? Yes. Can I tell you? Yes. The Lord said there's somebody here. You are about to stop the trace of poverty from your family background. Yes. Oh, oh, I, 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 I can't, I, I, I can't feel somebody. Jesus. The, 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 the Lord says, somebody is here. You are about to stop the trace of every diabetes. Yes, Lord. Every high blood pressure. Amen. Every stroke. Amen. Every frustration. Jesus. Every trace of yes, stroke Lord. from your family background. Amen. Every trace of cancer. Yes, Lord. From your family background. Amen. Lift up your hands. I'm done. Listen. Jehu was not an Elijah. Jehu was not a Gideon. Jehu was not a Moses. But Jehu was unassuming. But he single-handedly stopped the trace. Listen, that trace of madness in your family. Jesus. You will stop it now. Yeah. Hey, listen. That trace of court cases. Jesus. That trace of police cases. That trace of when you rise that you fall down. Jesus. You make money, you lose tomorrow. Jesus. By authority.
Now hear me. This bow worship that happened from Moses' time. It was a serious worship that those who worship bow, do you know what they do? When they cut, when, when, they, when they go to bow them. Now the bow temple that turned into a public toilet. Let them tell what they, what they used to do there. When they are worshiping in that temple, they take a child, especially those that were males, male, male child, children. They take them and they, and, and they set fire and they put the children in fire. And when their blood comes, they drink it. 19.5, Jeremiah. Whatever I tell you is not my mind. I'm a Bible computer. Look at it. It says, they have built pagan shrines to who? Bow. To who? Bow. And there, there, in the temple, there, in the temple, there, in the temple, they burn their sons as sacrifices to bow. So that temple that Jehu turned into a public toilet, they were killing children there. But one person turned into a public toilet. Jesus. Can I pause here to declare? Yes, sir. The place where they design your downfall, Jesus. I turned it into a public toilet. Amen. Amen. Oh, look at the way I said, the place where they design your downfall. Jesus. I turned, it simply means it has been turned into a nobody place again. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, I'm a powerful Christian. I'm a powerful Christian. Church, this seven weeks, right now, six weeks, because one week is gone. This six weeks remaining on how to be a powerful Christian, you don't want to miss any of them. I will bring you some hidden nuggets and secrets in the Bible that will open your eyes. The realm where you move with confidence and say, ah, I know God has made me powerful. Say by authority. By authority. I can feel authority. Say by authority. By authority. I move in power. I move in power. So this is how they used to worship there. Look at it. So the fire is there. And this the bow god. So the, 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 the priest is the one holding it. They are priest. Hold it and they drop it down into the fire. And they, and, and they, and they suck the blood over here. In the bowls. That's bow. Bow. It worked in Eli Eli Elijah. That's why they had 450 prophets. That Elijah called fire. Even after calling fire, it didn't stop. That's why when Elijah stopped it, Jezebel said, Hey, because of what you have done tomorrow, I will kill you. Do you remember? Yes. Then Elijah said, Ye God, already. Then Elijah said, God, kill me. Elijah became suicidal. Give it to me. It can be there. I think First Kings 19. There. Check for me before you put it on there. Jezebel said, because of what you have done, I will finish you. Because of what you have done, I will finish you. Because of the done, I will finish you. Then Elijah said, God, kill me. Because of Baal worship, a prophet like Elijah said, God, I want to commit suicide. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Who's checking it for me? Lift up your right hand. So if you are not careful, it says, Elijah was afraid and fled for his life. He went to Bathsheba and, 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 and there he left his servant. He even ran away to left, leave his servant. It's called run for your life. But give it to me. No, give it to me where Jezebel said I will finish you. From, nine, from one. From one. From one. Jezebel sent this message to Elijah. May the God strike me and if he kill me. If by this time tomorrow I have not killed you just as you killed them. Then Elijah ran away. Give me verse one. When I have got home. He told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, including the way. So Elijah was only able to kill the prophet of Baal, but he couldn't destroy the temple. Yes. When you kill the prophet without destroying the temple, they can go to the temple again. Yes. It means when you are fighting the devil, don't fight one person, destroy the source. Yes. That's why in this text, we always destroy the source. To the end of source of your agenda. Yes. I destroy. Amen. I Destroy. Amen. I destroy. Amen. Somebody shall fire. Fire. And let me tell you, Jehu, this, this woman, Jezebel, that Elijah ran away. Jehu made people to kill her. Second Kings. Second Kings. Ten there. Check for me when the Enoch 
threw Jezebel down for me. Second Kings chapter 10, where the Enos. But this woman that Elijah was running away from, when the power came on Jehu, this account, you are not Jezebel, by example. Second Kings chapter 9, verse 33, when Jezebel did the makeup. And hear me, Jezebel makeup does not mean that a woman with a makeup is a Jezebel. No. She only did the makeup to cover her face. So a Christian, you can do makeup. Whoever says that whoever make a, do a makeup is a, is not, is a Jezebel. That person doesn't know Bible. Verse 30. Verse 30. Then Je, Jehu went to Jezreel. When Jezebel heard about it, she painted her eyes and arranged her hair and looked out of her window. As Jehu entered the gate, she asked, have you come in peace, you Zimri, you murderer of your master? Jehu said, go away. He looked up at the window and called out, who is on my side? Who? Two or three Enochs looked down at him. Some men, that were Enochs, they were castrated. <laughs> One day I'll teach you about that. Then, they, then Jehu, Jehu Je was so powerful and said, because I want to finish Jezebel, throw her down. Jehu said, so they threw her down. Go down small. Hey, now, say careful. Now call down over by my samaba. Look at it. So they threw her down. And some of her blood spattered the wall. And the horses trampled under her foot. This is the Jezebel who says she will kill Elijah. But a Jehu came to finish her. Jesus. Listen, Elijah didn't have a name. By Jehu, sorry, Elijah had a name, but nobody knew Jehu. But God used Jehu. Who didn't have a name? Jesus. Listen, listen, be, just be real. How many times have you heard about Jehu before? Perfect, you are real. How many times have you heard about Elijah? But the Elijah you know, he ran away from Jezebel. He said, God, kill me. I'm suicidal. But when the grace came on Jehu, 34, he crashed, he cried. Je 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 Jehu is a street boy. After he killed Jezebel, he went to look for food. He said, give me a bit here. Give me desserts. Let me eat. It means when your Jezebel dies, you can eat well. Amen. Somebody has to die for you to eat well. Jesus. Jehu went in and oh, Jehu went in and yes. Jehu went in and and dropped. And, and, and he said, take care of that cursed woman. Go and bury her because she was a king's daughter. Let's go, let's go. But when they went out to bury her, they found nothing. Only her scar, her feet, and her hands. Because dogs have eaten her body. Jesus. 35, 36. Then they went back and told Jehu and said, This is what the Lord spoke on the plot of land that belonged to her. Dogs would devour Jezebel flesh. On Sunday, I'll get them to show you about Jehu's life. That you from today. When people ask you, what's your nickname? You say, I'm Jehu number two. Jesus. By oh. God, by God, by God. I'm Jehu number two. Lift up your right hand. Thank you. And the word Jehu, and the word Jehu in the, in the, in the Hebrew, the word Jehu, 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 come from Jehovah, Jehu. And the who there means himself. So the word Jehu simply means God, God is God. Or it means he alone is God. He alone is God. Or he himself is God. That's the meaning for Jehu. He alone. He himself is God. Lift up your right hand. How to be a powerful Christian. Say by fire. By, by fire. fire. I walk in authority. I, I walk in authority. authority. Say I single-handedly. I single-handedly. Reverse things. Reverse things. In my family. In my family. I single-handedly. I single-handedly. Turn things around. Turn things around. Because I'm a powerful Christian. Because I'm a powerful Christian. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. 
me. Empower me by your fire. By your fire. By your strength. By your strength. Make me powerful. 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 Somebody cast power. 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 Cast power.